This is question number 83 from book number one based on the 2020 NEC, and this is electricaltime.com. The main bonding jumper connects the blank circuit conductor and the blank or the bonding jumper on the supply side or both at the service. So the answers here are A, ungrounded and grounded, B, ungrounded and equipment grounding conductor, C, ungrounded and equipment grounding conductor, or D, the grounded and equipment grounding conductor. Just want to take 30 seconds to let you know what we do here at electricaltime.com. We do online electrical classes from the comfort of your home. And then we also have this free service. So if you click on the subscribe for free NEC questions, Monday through Friday, you'll get an NEC code question and an answer sent to your email. All right, so back to our video. And the answer to this question is going to be D, and that is the grounded and equipment grounding conductor. All right, so let's just think about this for this for a second. So the main bonding jumper, what is that? You know, without looking at the code book for a second. So when you open up, let's say the main panel, the first point of disconnect, you know, let's say for a house, for, a, for one family dwelling, it's going to be that green screw that's going to be in there most likely. And what is that green screw doing? It is bonding the neutral side coming from the utility company. It's bonding the metal enclosure for the circuit breaker panel. And it's also bonding the equipment grounding terminals that are in the circuit breaker panel for that first point of disconnect. So it's bonding all of those things together so that we have what's called an effective ground fault current path. It is, in my opinion, the most important thing in any grounded system, that main bonding jumper, that's gonna be that green screw, most likely. Sometimes they use a plate or something else to do that but when you open up that circuit breaker panel and you see that green screw that's what we're talking about here and I can tell you I have seen those green screws in that first point of disconnect where nobody ever bothered to tighten it down where it actually made a connection a mechanical and an electrical connection between the case of the circuit breaker panel and the equipment grounding conductor and the neutral. We want to make sure that that green screw is in there all the way and that somebody tightened it properly so that it's making that connection. All right, so by the process of elimination here, we've got a couple of other answers here. And in answer A, we have ungrounded. So that's obviously no. That's going to be an absolute no for that. And then B has ungrounded and C has ungrounded. So you're never, ever, ever going to be using a main bonding jumper to connect to anything, you know, for the ungrounded conductors. And if you don't know what the ungrounded conductors, those are the hot conductors. And that's what's going to be connected to the circuit breakers. And we call that overcurrent protective devices. All right, so you heard me get a little excited here, and that's because I am excited about this. The main bonding jumper, to me, is the most important thing in any grounded electrical system, and you're going to do that at the first point of disconnect. All right, so let's go into our textbook and see what we got to say about this. So this is going to be Article 100, and this is going to be Definitions, and that's going to be in Chapter 1, General. We look at the parts in Article 100, and we find Part 1. Then we find Bonding Jumper Main. This question feels like a definition question. So first look in Article 100 and look for Main Bonding Jumper, and it's not there. Now try looking for Bonding Jumper in Part 1, and you see Bonding Jumper Main, and there you find the definition and the answer to this question. All right, so in our code book, let's just take a quick look at this definition for bonding 
jumper main. You know, and it talks about, it says, hey, you know, it's the connection that's between the grounded circuit conductor and the equipment grounding conductor, which we also call the EGC, or the supply side bonding jumper, or both at the service. All right, so let's continue in our textbook. In my opinion, the main bonding jumper is by far the most important safety connection in the entire grounded electrical service because if the grounded conductor that is supplied by the utility company is not bonded to the equipment grounding conductor at and only at the first point of disconnect then we don't have an effective ground fault current path to clear a fault and again the answer is going to be d and that is going to be code reference 100 for definitions and this is the bonding jumper main or we all know it as the main bonding jumper